have you been seeing the Jennifer Lopez hate after her new movie, new tour, and everything else lately? Nah, J Lo. So J Lo be getting in trouble, goddamn. Oh, and a lot of Jenny. it has been because of her Jenny from the Block image. So people are mad, and there's some TikTok videos that went super viral talking about it. But basically, she just dropped a new movie. She just dropped, I guess, uh, she's doing a tour. Uh, people oh. were talking about how really the tour is doing kind of bad that it have been having to cancel dates. Uh, the movie apparently is terrible. I haven't seen it, but that's what the streets have been saying. And also, it seems like her street cred has been called into question. Uh -oh. Because, you know, she's always been Jenny from the block, right? What block she grew up on for real? Well, apparently, uh, the people who live with her on that block have a problem with it. And a lot of it stems from over the years, the fact that Jennifer Lopez has used that image time and time again, but has never actually gave oh. back from the place that she's from. And they're pissed, not necessarily pissed off about that, but pissed off about the fact that she keeps referring to this... Jenny from the block exactly. image, but you don't give back to the block. Sis. And we also with you. But I'm going to let them talk about we'll it. We'll claim you. <laughs> I'm going to let them talk about it because goddamn, are they they have a problem with Jennifer. So, mm, no, this no. is a, a clip, I guess, from and and then also she's an old star. Yeah. And she is trying to be relevant in this new world of social media and has been doing a bad job of trying to relate to people or be relatable. And she's trying to use a Jenny from the Black storyline. And also they've been posting content to kind of, you know, promote her, promote the video, promote her tour, promote everything yeah, she's doing. Yeah. And it's just in this day and age, not ringing true. You could have got away with this in the 90s, 2000s, maybe even 2010s. But now, if it's well, not we can real, pull up receipts. That's the problem. So this is the video that got, so one of the videos that got social media tripping. And I'm going to show you the original video and show you what uh, uh -oh. the streets have been saying. Oh, Lord. I like taking my hair out like this. It reminds me like when I was 16 in the Bronx, running up and down the block. That crazy little girl who used to be wild and no limits, all dreams and so basically, people are irritated. Yeah, it that's seems, not giving genuine. It definitely feels fake. It seems like she's reached. I gotta get my hair clean. Like you know what she sounded like? Mm -hmm. How she sounded on that movie Hustle when she was supposed to be a stripper? Because mm. that movie right there, that was. I feel like that was the same thing as her trying to be Jenny from the Block. That's a perfect example of her trying to fit in. Because J Lo as a stripper. But it just feels forced and fake. Too forced. And these are people who actually either knew Jen Jennifer, or I don't know why I call her Jennifer, or <laughs> grew up in the same neighborhood of her. This girl, she actually um, lived there. She's from uh, the same place as Jennifer. <laughs> and um, <laughs> You gotta call her gotta, Jennifer when she's not Jen being Jenny from the block. We gotta call you Jennifer now. <laughs> so uh, we gonna call you... <laughs> so this is a lady who actually, you know, lived in that neighborhood, grew up around in the same right, right. area, and she got a problem, and she's going to express how people really feel about her, where she's from. Uh-oh. Like, receipts. Exactly. I truly have left this woman alone for years. I have just been annoyed in silence since high school. And guess what? I'm a Puerto Rican woman from the Bronx who went to the same high school as you, and you're lying. Oh! I saw your high school photo. You did not have hair like that. And we also both attended an all-girls Catholic high school in an Irish and Italian neighborhood. So you weren't running up and down the block. You know damn well you were sitting next to Megan Farley and Christine Marchetti in class. Why are you lying? Please uh stop using us to look human. Mm. We are sick of you. You don't do shit for us. Keep our names out of your mouth. We're not running up and down the block. Not all of us do that for kicks. You're stupid. Stop oh. using us to look human. Stop using us to look relatable. We don't like you. Mm. Well, damn. Exactly. And so, again, this has been... And look, if you go through the comments, people agreeing, people... You don't got to guess how she feel. <laughs> exactly. Shit. So this guy... She actually came to his school one time and he talks about, you know, and his school is in that neighborhood. He talks okay, about okay. what happened, how it went. Again, this is just another first person view of someone from her block, from her city. Saying that you came back and ain't do shit for the block. I can give you some brief background information about where the block is and my story, just so you know what's going on. So fun fact about me, I used to go to the school that JLo's mother taught at, that JLo herself attended. It was Holy Family School in the Bronx. And notice how I said was. 
I'll get back to that later. I was not present when JLo's mom was there. She like just retired. And I believe the reason why she retired was because she won $2.4 million in a lottery. And she was like, bye, which is completely understandable. I also went to the same pizza place she would go to, Cross Bronx Pizza, because it was like just down the block. And I also went to the same after school program that she went to, the Kips Bay uh, Boys and Girls Club. Went for like a couple months and I didn't like it, but that's another whatever. And as you can see here, the pizza place, the school and the Boys and Girls Club are all on Castle Hill Avenue in the Bronx. And this is what I think she refers to as the block. Now on to the main event. It is 2002, if I remember correctly, around the winter time, leaving school, it's dismissal time. I'm walking down the stairs and I notice a huge crowd and I'm like, hey, hold on. First of all, I know she was older than him, way older than him at this point. Can we shout out the fact that Jennifer Lopez looks great because she, yeah. he looks older than her yeah i thought he might have been an old teacher so yeah man. god damn Shoot. what's going on i did not know who jennifer Oof. lopez was i was kind of <laughs> a nerdy man. child and the music phase didn't really hit me until about the eighth grade but from that day on let's just say i knew who j-lo was so i make my way finally to the first floor and <laughs> as i turn the corner i just see kids getting pushed like punted into the building get back in the building by these two big men who are obviously bodyguards i didn't know that and next thing you know i'm getting pushed also into the floor and i like fell next to the staircase and i'm just like what is what is happening and that's when i catch a glimpse of this woman like not acknowledging anything that's happening she's walking between her bodyguards and then she's out the door flash forward a couple of minutes after my concussion subsided and i picked up all of my belongings <laughs> i made my way out of the front door of the school over here and i wanted to go to my favorite pizza place down the street because I had 50 cents and I knew a pizza roll would help me forget about this whole thing. <laughs> then I noticed the large crowd outside and I was like, it's never that busy there. And then I realized that woman was probably inside of the establishment. So I was like, forget this. I'm going to get on the city bus and go to my aunt's house. And that's when my aunt and my cousins told me that that woman was Jennifer Lopez. So I actually found this article from 2002. And even back then, people were saying that she's a phony and a fake and doesn't do anything for the block. Kind of freaking out because this article is about that day. Look, she visited Holy Family School for the cameras. <laughs> And then she went to Lacrosse it's Frog's the, Pizza yeah. Shop. Here it is. Here it is. Bodyguard shoved excited kids out of the way. Residents said, leaving one tiny fan in tears. <laughs> See, I wasn't lying about that. <laughs> one tiny fan in tears. <laughs> so it seems like for a long time, Jennifer Lopez has kind of been shitty to yeah. the place that she's from while also using it to brand how herself. how you claim it? But and not so, do nothing for it. Exactly. And it's in allegedly, uh, there were multiple requests from like uh, the school that she went to and I think maybe some other businesses that she kind of uh, frequented like that. But I'm not saying them, but just in general that like requested money money or like to come out and support the yeah, community. Yeah, sponsor. And apparently, she was never down for that shit. Wow. So, I mean, if that's the case, then I could also, I could, you know, easily see where they come from and yeah. why they feel that way. And also, it's just, I don't know, something about it just feels weird when she does the Jenny from the block thing. Because it don't look, it's not her. It's, it's not. not her. And also, your mama won $2 million. So. She ain't on the block no more, Jenny. Yeah, I'm just saying. Let's um, be for real. Yeah, so I. <laughs> BFFR. I think also, too, she's a. I think it's two things. I think number one, she's an old star, yeah. which makes it hard. It's just to stay relevant. You're not gonna like my thing is it's really hard for you to come. Like I don't even think dudes like Denzel, maybe Denzel, because everybody loved Denzel. Yeah, I was but, gonna say don't come but, for Denzel. But imagine like him trying to be relevant in 2024 20, using 2024 20, tools. You yeah. get what I'm saying? People like Denzel, he's gonna keep doing Denzel shit. Yeah, he's not because gonna he's come Denzel. on exactly. He's not gonna come on TikTok and start trying to even her husband. The, uh, um, uh, a Rod, no, or no. ex husband Ben no. Affleck. Ben Affleck. That's, that's ben the Affleck. Current. He's not on TikTok trying to. He's playing Batman. He's not. You get what I'm saying? Ben he, Affleck is staying in his somewhere. role. Denzel is staying in his role. J Lo stay in your role, sis. I, stay they, in your role. TikTok gonna eat you up. Okay. Street's gonna eat you up. And they gonna pause that video every time at that spot, just like he did. Okay? Exactly. So I mean, this is pretty hilarious. Comb your hair, sis. Comb it. R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> Jenny from the block. Jenny from the block. <laughs> from now you're Jennifer. 